What is happening today, YouTube? I am the Graying Tech, a PC gaming insider. Subscribe for more insights. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can game longer, how you can sustain gaming throughout the rest of your life, and how you can perform better. That's right, today we're talking about ergonomics and how it impacts your body and your gaming performance. Now, when most people hear ergonomics, they simply think, hey, I have a wonderful chair already. I don't need to worry about anything else. Well, let me challenge you on that bit a little bit because I believe a lot of people hear ergonomics and think gaming chair. And these are actually disastrous for your body. They are often too soft. They have too much cushioning and padding and they don't bolster in the right areas. And worst of all, they lock you into a central position preventing your body from moving which is actually a key to your overall energy level and performance while you are gaming. Instead, I would implore you to look into a standing desk. A standing desk, particularly one that is motorized, that is capable of remembering positions, because that is actually the key to how you can game for longer. When I first built my desk in my office slash basement setup, it was atrocious. It was a folding table. I had a wooden chair and then eventually I got a softer chair, office mid-level kind of a chair, but I was wreaking havoc on my body. You see, I was working eight to nine hours a day and I was gaming for probably two to three hours additionally, all in that one chair, all in that same general position. And I started to have a lot of pain in my hips. I started to have a lot of pain in my back, my shoulder, my wrist, my elbow even, all started to develop a chronic pain as I went throughout my day. And that pain lingered all the way into the weekend. And I noticed oftentimes the only thing that was actually helping was getting and moving around a lot during the weekend. Ultimately, I invested in a high-end chair and I built my own desk. I built my own desk specifically so that I could have it at the right height for my body type. And I bought a chair that was very firm, not plush, and the armrests themselves are there to be rests, but not something that I continuously have my arms sitting upon. And this certainly helped until one day, the pain was so bad in my right foot, I had to go to the doctor because I was worried that I actually damaged something in my foot. Maybe I broke it. I did fall off the roof a couple weeks prior. That's a different story. But I didn't. There was nothing physically wrong with my foot itself. It had not been broken. Quite honestly, I was sitting too much. And that's when I took that existing desk that I had built, I removed the legs, and I got a fully adjustable frame that I then put the desk on top of. Fully being, yes, it's completely adjustable, but fully also being the brand name of the company. I got a memory card pad thing that went with it as well, and that allows me to raise the desk, to lower the desk, to have it at a certain height that is ideal for using the top pad for when I wanna do something, or I can raise it up a little bit further and use the mouse and keyboard section for even more items. Lastly, I can adjust the height of that desk in order to put it at the exact spot I need for my videos, which is pretty cool on its own. When I was creating some gaming software with an external vendor and my employer, we found that APM is dramatically impacted by your ability to focus on the gameplay, and the position that you're actually holding your body in for a long period of time. So a standing desk has a dramatic impact on your APM or actions per minute, which will improve your competitive gameplay. I attribute this simply to the fact that it forces me to move around a whole lot more. When you are standing, you typically are not just going to stay in one place. You are now mobile. You can shift your weight back and forth. You're able to adjust your arms and position those. You're able to twist and make things a little bit more comfortable. In fact, standing for long periods of time itself is not good for you. And so the combination of standing and sitting, of moving around, repositioning my body, got rid of a lot of inflammation. 
it got rid of a lot of the sluggishness that I was feeling because my body felt rejuvenated, essentially. It had more energy because I was moving around. And it forced me to change positions while I was gaming. And what I found when I started changing positions more often, I could dial in how my body was structured based upon the events that were occurring in the game. At times I could lean forward and actually interact with something a little bit better. I could lean back and take in the experience a whole lot more. I could stay in kind of a neutral position and kind of be ready for anything, almost like an athletic position. Now, a lot of people say, I hate standing at a standing desk. And that can be certainly true. And there are certain things that you will need to do in order to be able to stand for longer. But those things pale in comparison to the potential damage that you are doing to your body using gaming chairs and sitting for long hours at a time. If you want to improve your gaming performance, click the subscribe button for more insights from a PC Gaming Insider. So what should you look for in a standing desk? First and foremost, is it capable of supporting the weight that you are gonna put on top of the frame? That means the actual physical desktop, that means any computers that you're gonna put on, lights, monitors, stands, keyboards, mice, accoutrement, all of that can add up to several hundreds of pounds that are sitting on top of the frame. So you absolutely wanna make sure the frame itself is capable of supporting that weight. You wanna make sure that the width is also appropriate for your setup. You wanna make sure that the legs are as far to the outer edges as possible because you don't want the table or the desktop itself to seesaw should there ever be something that puts a lot of weight on one end almost picking up the other side. The further the weight is out to the corners, the less likely that you are going to run into issues. Third, is it height adjustable to the height that you actually need? Now, a lot of chairs out there have height adjustable arms and legs and stands and so forth. And just like those, a standing desk should have the appropriate height range that allows your elbow and forearms to make a 90 degree angle so that you can comfortably type and give you the best gaming performance. You want about a five degree variation there as well so that you can dial it in for the specific game that you are playing or the specific thing that you are doing. Fourth, does it have a memory? You will not use a standing desk if you have to manually adjust it every single time. Quite honestly, that is one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they look at standing desks. And fifth and final, Will there be further mods that you will need to do in order to make that standing desk work for you? Stands, cable hiders, all of those things come into bear and if you are not going to actually use the desk and you're not going to be willing to invest in those mods, you're just pretty much wasting your money then. So what are some of the cons? Because there's certainly cons of having a standing desk. As I already mentioned, don't try to stand for hours on end. You're actually going to end up hurting your body more trying to do that. What you want to do is you want to stand some, you want to sit some, you want to move around, you want to be mobile. There's also a price associated with this. Yes, I did build my own tabletop. You can do that yourself. You don't have to build your own. Ikea has a wonderful butcher block top that you can put on one of these desks and it, it looks great. You are also going to have a lot of problems with cable management. I have a ton of cables on my desk. I have a lot of stuff on my desk. I have a monitor stand. I have a TV stand. I have an articulating arm stand. I have a desktop. I have a corporate laptop. I have a corporate laptop stand. I have docks. I have my lights. I even have an UPS power supply that you can't see sitting behind the television. I have all kinds of stuff back there and it all has to be somewhat presentable and I hide the cables as best I possibly can. But if you sneak around to the back side of the desk, you're gonna see them. And in fact, I'm on a mission to try to improve that right now. And if I can get some of it looking better, I'll include it right here in the video too. The last con is there's gonna be extras. Cable management, mounting, surfaces, all of that's going to lead to you needing to get extra stuff to make this work. I had to build my own keyboard tray in order to get the height of the television just right. And I had to buy a separate mount stand for the television in order to get that to work right, all while trying to make it work on an adjustable desk. 
All of those factors come into play when you are trying to get something like this set up. However, when you compare the price of a gaming chair and what it is supposed to give you versus a setup like this, your mileage is going to be significantly better by getting an adjustable desk and not that particular gaming chair. The last thing I will call out here is if you are standing and you're standing barefoot with socks on, that sort of a deal, get a floor mat as well. That will help alleviate some of the pressure on your feet. That will alleviate some of the pressure you're gonna feel on your hips and your legs and decrease the amount of fatigue you're going to have when you first get started doing this. Ultimately, your body is going to get used to the moving of around, the different positions you're gonna put it in throughout the course of an hour, two hour period of time. And while gaming, your body is definitely going to be more comfortable with that moving around sensation. So those are the tips, tricks that I have that will give you gaming performance, that will let you game for longer in a session and hopefully allow you to game for the rest of your life. I'm The Grain Tech. If you enjoyed this, check out some of my other videos and I hope you have a wonderful day.